and tweeted, quote, as a homeowner, I worry deductions for homeowners are at risk. Is that the case? President responded that if the tax rates for Americans top payers don't go up, middle class deductions will get hit. In other words, the rich pay for everybody. RBC's Bob Wettenhall says if that happens, it could derail our fledgling housing recovery. Anything which really flexes downward the deductibility of interest expense for home mortgages is definitely a potentially catastrophic threat to the recovery. Is he right? Joining us, Edward Kleinbard, law professor at the University of California Gould School of Law, former chief of staff at Congress's Joint Committee on Taxation, Peter Murphy, real estate agent at Home Encounter in Florida. Edward, do you agree? Will it hit? Absolutely not. Uh, it will have some modest effect. But the fact is that interest rates jump up and down all the time. Right now we have uh, home mortgage interest rates at historic lows. I just refinanced at 3% um, plus. Uh, if interest rates go to 4 and a quarter percent, uh, nobody would, be, would describe that as a catastrophic hit to the home, uh, to the home market. I'm and that's what we're talking about here. We're talking about something that might move the cost of housing uh, one percentage point or so. I wonder whether, and when you think about if you're about to buy a home or you're thinking of buying a home, a lot of it's psychological, right? Do I feel I'm in a position to do this? So, Peter, might the hit, if we eliminate or cut the mortgage deduction, might the hit be more psychological than actually monetary? You're exactly right. There's a big psychological impact for existing homeowners of having this interest uh, deduction removed. But for, for, for home buyers, people who are making a decision now to buy a home, I agree with the, with the guest, other guest. This is not enough money to really be a massive impact on a decision to buy. People buy homes because they believe homes are undervalued or because they want a wonderful place to raise a family, not because they're exactly. getting that extra, on average, $500 in annual tax savings. So I'm not sure it's going to have any impact whatsoever whoa, 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 on the ability for homeowners to buy. 500 in annual tax savings? No, 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 it's no, no. Very no, low, no, no, yes. no, 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 no. Mm. How about 500 a month in tax savings? No, not at well. For, for jumbo mortgages, yes. But yes. for the average oh, so here, homeowner, let, not at Here's all. my scenario. I did the yeah. math. Here's, let me just mm -hmm. throw this out mm -hmm. there. If you have a million dollar mm -hmm. mortgage, and I know that seems crazy yes. to a lot of people, come to New Jersey, come yeah. to New York, Massachusetts, San mm -hmm. Francisco, whatever, right? Let's say they, mm -hmm. they, they reduce the cap to 500,000 from a million. Mm -hmm. At 5% interest, mm -hmm. that's 25,000 in mortgage interest you can't get written off. And if you're buying that, you probably have an effective tax rate of about 23 to 25%, which mm -hmm. is about $6,500 a year. 500 a month. Yes, a big impact. A big impact to the wealthy homeowners, but you're talking about removing this or exactly. th th whether this will have an impact across the market. And on the average, it's only going to have an impact of about $45 a month in tax savings to the average homeowner. That's not enough to majorly t affect people's decisions to buy. And even for the super wealthy guys, 65000 a year, we're looking at that, that whether that amount was going to affect their decision to make a lifetime investment of real estate. And I'm not sure it will overall. You know, earlier on, Brian threw out a fantastic uh, stat, basically, Edward, where, where it was saying that incomes over the years have either stayed the same or in actual fact gone down, but our houses have gotten bigger mm -hmm. and bigger. So might, yes. if we get mm -hmm. rid of the mortgage yes. deduction, I'm not arguing for it either way, but might it force us, however painfully, to live within our means more? Well, e exactly. The fact is that the home mortgage interest deduction is a subsidy that all of us pay to some of us. I live in California, so by definition, I have a small house and a big mortgage. Uh, and uh, everybody else in America is helping to subsidize that by virtue of giving this deduction, uh, in, um, which reduces my tax liability in the form of the home mortgage interest deduction, in the form of the property tax deduction for my local property taxes, and also the capital gains exclusion. If we had all the money in the world, we might continue that subsidy. But the fact is that we don't. And if you add those three subsidies up, mm. those three subsidies will cost American taxpayers about $750 billion uh, over the next five years. That's an extraordinary subsidy. At a time when people are talking about cutting food stamps, which, uh, which give uh, an individual $4 a day mm -hmm. on which to live, uh, at a time when we're talking about cutting early childhood education, if we're going to invest in America, frankly, I'd rather invest in America's children uh, than um, in my overpriced home uh, in California. And, and on that's that really note, the, that's, that's the choice. And on that note, Edward, Peter, thank you very much for weighing in. Coming thank up. I don't, I don't disagree with them. My Canada pleasure. has zero mortgage interest deduction and a stronger housing market and more stable one than we do. I, I don't disagree we with them.